Hello and welcome back to Domination. Now you guys might remember this as a very janky indie horror game from a little while ago that I played the demo of. And this was the one that was about like the reptile conspiracy, the reptilian conspiracy, which I seem to remember thinking was really cool. Because like that's not a conspiracy you see get discussed often. But uh, now that this game is actually released, I wanted to go ahead and give this a shot. So I actually encountered a game breaking bug where the first area you actually couldn't leave. So I have to actually go in there. This is the second time I actually came in and I was fucking around with it and I finally managed to get it to work. So I'll, I'll show you guys where it was happening. But let's go ahead. And it, it was like four minutes worth of gameplay and they were all basically in a room in a hallway. So you guys didn't miss much. But let's go ahead and just dive right on in. And let's go see how this goes. Because yeah, just a fair warning, um, there is going to be voice acting in this, but it is all in Spanish. El 12 de abril de 1997, se encontraron en la selva 12 cuerpos de mujeres asesinadas. Todas sin el vientre. Nadie pudo investigar el caso, porque el gobierno declaró que fue trata de blancas. Y meses después, se archivó diciendo que es seguridad nacional. Pero los familiares no estaban contentos con las conclusiones, porque habían muchos cabos sueltos. Después de ocho meses, las familias de las víctimas contactaron al investigador privado Edmundo para saber qué les pasó a las mujeres y llegar al fondo de todo esto. Yeah, so that's a, a lovely, wonderful start to all of us. Um, yeah, so just a heads up, this is the game being said in English, by the way. I actually took a look in the one, I took a look in the last attempt at recording because I was so fucking lost. And, uh, yeah, this is the game being said in English. So, look, developers, like, for you guys who play crappy, or, what, what do I say, for people who play crappy horror games, that's me. Uh, for those of you who are, like, trying to make indie horror games, if you guys seriously ever want, like, a free voice actor, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I will do it for free because I, I enjoy doing it, and I'll, I'll actually, like, try my best to get you guys what you want. I actually have a project that I've been really, that I'm like months behind on because I just got really fucked up, fucked around with it. Um, and that that's entirely on my fault. I still owe that guy. I missed the evidence. Yes, I did. Yeah, I still owe that guy like a few lines for his game, which I, I, I he's a really good guy. So, I mean, I don't really want to keep screwing him over. Uh, but seriously, like I will do free voice acting for these games. It's fine, but for the love of God, please do it, because there's so many games that have shitty voice acting or have, like, non-English voice acting, and it just makes them, like, horrendous to play. But anyway, so here is the evidence. So, the suspect's name, Wilfredo Sanchez, Human Settlement Miraflores, Something D, Forest of Light, Research Historian Astrologer, 12 Women, Dismembered, removal, Uterus Removed, and Bruised. With a laser, apparently. So, yes, what I did is I went into here, and, yeah, when I went down here, like... The game actually didn't allow me to go through here. I kept on like running into it. I kept on pressing E on it. Nothing happened. And then I went in and I was like really figuring it out. And I like I ran into the door again after I reloaded and then it finally worked. So there was some bug that occurred here. I'm not sure what it was. But uh, yeah, I think... Do we dare to continue? Yes, we do. I think we're just going to have basically a continuation of... I think this is just going to be like the demo area again. Although, yeah, this, uh, this is still in Unreal, and my computer still fucking hates Unreal. So, what could possibly go wrong here? Well, you might want to keep an eye on the fire ahead of you. I assume that's a fire. Oh, no, that's a... Oh, okay, that's a... That's a reptile thing eating a person. Boy, those things are fucking strong. Also, I didn't uh, I didn't show it off the last time because I was being an idiot and I was just trying to get through this as quick as possible, but yeah, apparently we're like in a hotel, but we're a detective, so I'm not really sure how that works. Yeah, okay, so this is the exact same. Um Let's see. Oh, that's right. I forgot. This is the game that has the aim down sights that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because you're aiming down the sights, but you'll notice that there's no front sight to this. Or that you can't see the front sight, like, because the rear sight is so heavily raised. I don't really understand how that works. But, uh, yeah, so here we go. 126 meters to the house of the suspect. Let's go. Esa mujer necesita ayuda. That woman needs help. Yeah, I think we all are going to need some help there, sport. Okay, let's see. So I have... 
I also have a shotgun. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm in the middle of the woods. If I'm gonna have a gun, I'm gonna have a fucking shotgun because this trail, of this, and this, trail this trail of blood. Is it a path? Yeah, that's uh. You know, that's a good question. But if if I'm in the woods, though, I'm gonna have like a shotgun or a semi-auto rifle because I'm gonna be more worried about like fucking jaguars and shit. Esos sonidos vienen de ahí. The sounds come from there. Come from where? Not down here, I hope. Yeah, because I don't, I don't trust this game's ability. I will say, I do like that our, our run is actually like fairly decently quick. Hello, that person had a bad time of it. Yeah, I, I really like the fact that our run is is decently fast. I don't like that I keep on hearing growling noises. That makes me mildly nervous. But you know, whatever. I have. A fuckload of shotgun shell. God, what the fuck? Like, is this guy me? I have three boxes of shotgun shells on me. What the fuck? I'm not gonna complain. Like, this guy's doing the right thing. He has a fuckload of ammo, but I'm I'm actually kind of surprised. Like, normally, you know, you'd have like a box of shells, or you'd have. I think I just missed something below me. Um, or you'd have like, you know, a bandolier. You'd have like anywhere from. 18 to 24 shells or something, but yeah, this guy apparently dumped three boxes worth of buckshot plus a few spares and he loaded up the shotgun. I'm like, actually, I really like this guy. See, th this is what more game protagonists need to be like. They need to actually be smart. They're like, hey, we're gonna go investigate the story of the weird, like, rape kidnapping cult. You know, obviously you'd have some dipshit like, uh, oh, what's that fucking moron's name? Was it Blake? I think it was Blake in in Outlast 2. Yeah, he and his fucking wife were like, Hey, we're gonna go investigate the weird rape murder cult that's in the fucking forest. We're gonna bring a camera. It's like, you what? Fuck no, I'd be bringing in enough ammo to outfit a fucking platoon worth of marines. Yeah, no, those people who go into those situations are idiots. No, it's like every time that I see like something terrible happen where people like go into these, sh these war-torn shitholes and like... You know, they end up getting assaulted or worse or something, and I'm just like, look, I understand the sentiment, and it's good of you people to, like, try to be nice, but for fuck's sake, you guys just, you're just making your lives worse. So yeah, okay, so this is the, uh, this is the same thing. Now, there was a, there was a guy out here. Is he still here? I want to see. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I don't have unlimited sprint. Um... Oh, did they get rid of him? Oh, that's okay. That that's fair. Um, yeah, there there was just a model of like one of the reptile monsters, and he just was kind of chilling out in the middle of the woods. He just was like standing there, and I uh, yeah, and I remembered what walking up to him. Have you guess, uh... Seems no one is home. All right, let's see. That's a med kit which I can't use. There is shotgun ammo. Which apparently I'm maxed on, actually. Okay. But yeah, I wonder if he'll. I wonder if that'll spawn in later. Investigate the house. Okay. Well, this doesn't look very good. Also, I I, I seem to remember this being a mild issue before. Like this light is almost a hair too bright. But I I think that might be an unreal thing, where like because of how Unreal calculate re calculates reflections. <laughs> That's disgusting, something's dying in this house. Yeah, I, I think it's because of how uh, Unreal up, like handles reflections. Like, this is basically incredibly washed out. So I, I think it is more of an issue with that than, than the game. So I wonder if that would just be solved by having, like, maybe turning down the brightness 10% or so on the flashlight. Okay, there's nothing, nothing around here. Yeah, my, my apologies are that I'm not going as, like, super thorough as I normally would for this, just because of the fact that I have actually, I'm pretty sure I've actually played this already. Like, th this appears to be the exact same thing as the demo, which is fine. I actually kind of like it when demos are just, like, early snippets of games instead of being an entirely unrelated story. But it also... Find a tool to open the door. Okay. Uh, let's see. If I remember right, there's a crowbar somewhere? It might be out in, like, the garage or something. I can't remember. Oh, no, here we go. Yeah, okay. 
Um, what was I saying though? Something's actually not. Oh yeah, that's right. That's like the weird aim down sight for this too, which is not how you aim down the sight, especially considering you can see the rear sight there. Uh, da -da -da, I don't remember what the fuck I was talking about. Oh, oh yeah, just because I'd already played this, um, you know, you can find the video for the demo for this, and it it'll actually like have everything that. Ah, uh, shit. I seem to remember doing the same thing last time, too. Oh, well, that's a problem. That is not an interactable. Okay. <laughs> Disgusting. This guy is a psycho. Yeah, I don't think that's this guy's work. What did that say? A machete? I... Oh, fuck. Okay. What? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I am not getting rid of my guns. Are you fucking high? Okay, so I can carry two weapons, though. That's that's actually good to know. Alright, so... Those damn lizards are manipulating me. I'm doing disgusting things. I'm just gonna speak over the Spanish audio, probably, here. <clears throat> okay. Every day that passes, I'm transforming into a show. I am deforming. Kinda wish I could go heal a bit. The lizards are to blame. I only accept this because I want to see my family. The lizards have kidnapped me. Yeah, sure thing there, buddy. The lizard people, right? Okay. Can I... I can't stand it. It's so difficult. Shut up, please. I told you to shut up. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. This is where we get the shotgun, isn't it? in the normal game. Okay, so let's let's go see. What are these notes? Everything seems to be on Earth before humans. There's several of them, from the most animals to the most intelligent. That doesn't mean anything. And this is... My family is under the military bunker, but first I might find the sewer that is in the middle of the jungle. Okay, yeah, and then, yep, we got that there. And then this was... The medium and drakis, not intelligence, are more animalistic. They always walk in herds and they like human meat, but are very, very weak. Okay, yeah, I think this... the hell? I think this was about the point that I had to stop last time, because... Yeah, I think, like, we're gonna go up top, and then I'm just not gonna be able to get the hell out anymore. Okay, so how do I... Okay, that was weird as hell. Um... So I'm, I'm betting at this... This is probably the point... Where I'm actually in danger, aren't I? Alright, so first things first. Medkit, please. Thank you, game. Now, I want I just kinda want to go double check and see. Is there anything out here that I can go pop in the face? I I was kind of hoping it would be, because it would be really, really funny, but alright, you know, honestly, aside from the voice acting, like this is basic, but so far it's fine. Um, it's running better, although I don't know if that's because my workaround is better or if they did any optimizations, but you know, I'll the fuck? Hi. Okay. Okay, are you... You must be the asshole. Okay. You know what? I wasn't expecting him to charge out like that at me. Oh, dear. Okay. Hi, lizard guys. How's it going? Okay. This is a problem. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's, let's get out of here. I think, yeah, I, I think getting the fuck back is going to help, because th this is new. This didn't happen during the demo. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. I am going, oh, okay, hang on. Fuck off. You know what? Honestly, this is uh, this is pretty much what I would expect to happen if I was ever attacked by a bunch of fucking lizard people. Yeah, I would I would probably just start shooting with my shotgun. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna lie, that was actually really goddamn satisfying. No, this is actually satisfying as hell. Okay, you know, frame rate drops and such notwithstanding. Yeah, okay, fuck these guys. They want to go ahead and be like, oh, we're gonna be big dumbass lizard people. It's like, alright, cool story, bro. I'm gonna fucking blow your limbs off. Hell yeah. Oh, I am fucking thrilled. Oh, this is great. 10 out of 10. Game of the year. I'm, I'm being mildly facetious here, but still. Like, okay, so... 
Yeah, that, that didn't happen before, so everything from here might be new. The real question is going to be whether or not we have the ability to actually get up from the sewer. Or get up to the sewer. Because, yeah, I think I was able to jump... I, I think I was able to make my way back over here. But, yeah, like, there's no way to climb up or something. Yeah, because it's too slippery. Which tells me that there might be a path down below. Oop, shit. Ah, fuck. Okay, yeah, th there is a little bit of a problem with the movement there. Like, you really fly around quite a bit. Oh no, are you kidding me? You're kidding me, right? Wait, I'm all the way back here, but is it... Okay, so there's supposed to be an auto save, I guess? Okay, I guess. Yeah, alright, let me just take that. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's just go do this. Yeah, it, it's very, very floaty. Like, you you can see it, you can kind of see it there. Um, it, it's a very awkward <laughs> control scheme. Yeah, so if I go ahead and if I do this, and then I'll turn that off. Let's just pop these, because I don't know which, which ones of these actually turn this on. There's the shotgun. Yeah, let's, uh... Hang on. What? Yeah, what, what exactly am I supposed to do for this? Because, yeah, the last time I think I just got very, very lucky. And, like, I'm kind of clipping on it, but I'm not. You know, I, I definitely think that this is probably... Yeah, it's weird, because, like, I, I kind of climb up it when I'm there. And then I don't. So, yeah, this, uh, this definitely needs to get fixed, because, like, this is actually really, really frustrating. Unless, can I go up it backwards, maybe? Yeah, no, I, I, I really can't. Like, I'm... Yeah, like, I get partially lifted up. It, it's, it's a very, very awkward control scheme. It's, it does not play very well. Um, yeah, I think, like, right now, this would probably be the number one issue that I have with the game. Aside from the fact that I have to redo all this shit, but... Yeah, this this really needs a fix. Because, boy, is this... Is some asshole laughing at me struggling? I mean, honestly, I probably would too, because this is fucking ridiculous, but... Yeah, like, this is actually just atrocious. Yeah, and it's weird, too, because it's like, I can't really... I don't even know what I fucking did last time. I, I just, I got lucky and somehow just, like, climbed. Yeah, because it's, it's not jump. It's not like it's shift. You know, if, it, it, yeah, once you clip onto it, it's... Yeah, once you just kind of clip into it, like, the game just kind of fucks you around. I don't know. Um... Yeah, that's really weird. Now, like, I can't pick up anything to have a platform to get higher up, which kind of sucks. And there's really nothing... Hmm. Yeah, and there's really nothing else, huh? Maybe a running jump? Nope. Maybe a double running jump? Nope. I... <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, this is this is incredible. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna probably just cut this out for a second while I try to do this, so I'll be right back. Okay, so if you guys want a tip and trick, if you buy this game, first off, don't fucking buy this game. Um... <coughs> So, basically, you, what you kind of have to do is you have to, like, ladder pattern back and forth. Yeah, and you can kind of see, like, there. That's what you have to do. But no, seriously, like, do, do not buy this game. Um, this is, th th this is uniquely, like, oh, what the fuck? Hey, buddy. Okay. Interesting that you're over here now. But, uh, yeah, no, th this is, like, uniquely shitty. Which, I, I understand it takes a lot of effort to make a game, so, like, please don't think I'm hating on the developers, but... Yeah, this is, uh... It, it's, it's uniquely impressive how bad that was. Alright, so, anyway, there's all of these guys. Yeah, let's, uh... Can I? Oh, god damn it! of course not. They're all fucking, they're all over here instead. Um... Yeah, let's just... 
Hold on, let me pop you. Wow, you gave no fucks about your buddy. Alright, you know what? Honestly, if I can go ahead... Hello, what are you? Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Okay. You know what? I probably shouldn't have uh, just stood there. Yeah, I probably should have maybe... Yeah, kept on running, or maybe I should have gone ahead and killed all these assholes instead. Alright, that's kind of suck that there's apparently no... Well, okay, apparently what there is, is there's no... Wait, what? Is there no range limit to this gun? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to complain about that, but... Uh, what I was going to say is that it does kind of suck that there's not any more fucking medkits around here, because I decided to use the one. Okay, because my dumbass fell down. Okay, well, hope we like, uh, hope we like Red Jam Vision, I guess, because that's what we're going to get here. But yeah, that, I, I didn't even recognize that over there last time. Maybe, like, did I just miss this every single time that I played this? Did I just, like, miss that little path or whatever? I, I guess it's possible. Yeah, where, where is that exactly? Was that, yeah, that was here? Okay. Look here, let me try, oh dear. You stop that, jackass. Okay, so I apparently can't shoot these guys through here. There is a lot of them, though. Okay, so if I... Well, apparently I can't... Yeah, whatever that is, I can't open it. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, puerta... I'm pretty sure that's door in Spanish. I'm pretty sure Breer is open. So, I, I guess I have to go back... God, I can't even fucking tell, yeah, because because of the bullshit red stuff on my screen. Um, don't tell me these guys actually, like, have blocked me in here. Oh, fuck, okay. Well, hey guys, that's fine. Oh dear, there's a lot more of you than I expected. Okay, yep, reload, 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 or I'm already reloaded. I keep on, like, I'm kind of liking the fact that he basically does an instant reload. You know, that actually is, like, really nice and arcadey. It, it makes the combat a lot more fast-paced. Okay, come here, assholes. Alright, any more you fuckheads want to come out and play before I... Actually, I'll probably switch over to my pistol. Just because of the fact that I, uh... I don't really want to blow through what's left of my shotgun shells. Yeah, okay, so I, I guess this might actually be the way. So this has come out of all sides like cockroaches. Okay, can I please get some first aid? Because, yeah, like, if, if you're going to have a health system, that's fine. But, like, make don't, don't put shit like this on my screen. Give me a health bar or something. Because otherwise, like, this just kind of makes it not fun to play and look at. Which really does suck, because... I mean, honestly, I just, I, I, if, I, as far as I'm concerned, if it's not fun for me to look at, I can't imagine what it's like for you guys. So yeah, don't, don't have this red stuff just stick on the screen. Give me a health bar and give me health packs and let me just kind of balance it that way. You know, that I, in my opinion, that's probably the way to do it. Because like now too, I'm kind of in a position where it's like, you know, I, I can't even necessarily trust my peripheral. So I have to check around a lot more, and I have to do more stuff. Which, again, is fine, but it it does make it a little bit more annoying. Especially, like, especially if I have to worry about the game... Especially if I have to worry about saves. You know, what happens if I say, Or what happens if, like, the game crashes? What happens when I end the video? Like, am I going to be... You know, what, what's, what all is going to go on there? Am I going to have to redo all of this every time? Like, is this going to be... I, I hope for $6, this game gives me at least two or three hours worth of gameplay. But yeah, I don't know. Also, boy, those cars are fucked. Also, did I see a... Damn it, I, I'm really looking for a fucking medkit here. That's like number one priority right now. Is that a... Oh, yeah, okay, there it is. There's a paramedics thing. Can I... Of course I can't open you up and find a med kit. Really? So they must just expect the player to, like, gun down everything they see, which, again, is totally fine with me, but I'm actually kind of baffled by that decision. 
Yeah, especially considering they have like red jam vision on our fucking screens here. Not not crazy about that. That is a pretty significant like Yeah, it's a pretty significant point against the game so far. All right, maybe in the sewer I'll get lucky. Uh, you know what this is kind of reminding me of? This is reminding me a little bit of, uh... Oh, what was that game that I played that was like, you went out to a campground or something, then there was like velociraptors and shit that you had to escape from? Busca la salida? I don't... Where the hell are my guns? Don't tell me that you took my guns away. Fuck you, game. Don't take my guns away, you fucking asshole. Yeah, what was that game called? It was like... It started with a C, I want to say. Fuck, what was it? Because that was really good. And I'm kind of getting mild vibes of that. Although, that game was actually, like, exceptionally good. This is kind of not. Although, I think that, that game did have some... Yeah, I think, like, one of the death states for some areas was, like, a nonsense jump scare. I want to say. So, yeah, I think that... Oh, yeah, that was it. I think if the raptors hit you... I think you had, yeah, it had like a jump scare for the death animation. And I, I remember not being particularly pleased with that. Activate the lights. Well, I'd certainly like to, but apparently I can go fuck myself. Also, this door isn't real. Okay. Is there a machete or some tool I can use to defend myself? There's some dude in a hazmat suit. Alright. Okay, so that implies that maybe government forces or something know a little bit about this. Oh, there it is. The M... Oh, okay. I thought it was the M76 light lever, and I was like, what the fuck? But no, that's just... That's the distance. It's a very interesting way of doing stuff. Yeah, just have, like, the, the number just be big and up there as opposed to, like, a smaller indicator. Have it on the... Have it on the little top screen, like, where that yellow... That little yellow shape is. The yellow diamond that's pulsing. Alrighty, so, let's go, oh, hang on, why, I, okay, what, hold on, hold, okay, hold the fucking phone, well, you have to look at that, and then you have to go ahead and pull down, to turn it up. Okay, uh, game, I kind of need a light, I, I kind of need a gun. I need some method of defending myself, like, I don't care if it's... Oh, great, okay, so they kicked in the door and then it collapsed behind me. Yeah, I, I need something to defend myself with. Can I please pick up these shotgun shells? Okay, come on, game. I, okay. Oh, hang on. Okay, there we go, There. there's our shotgun beautiful. You know what? I'm happier now. You know what, game? You're alright. As long as you keep me well stocked with shotgun shells and asshole lizards to murder with them, I'm gonna be perfectly fine with you. Yeah, um... Okay, so like, really, what, what, are, the, what are the major issues of the game so far that I've had? You know, that ladder was like, unforgivably bad. Um... Oh, that, that animation? Oh, that was actually pretty decent, like the cutting the lizard in half thing. Um... Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, yeah, okay, the bugged out save, that was kind of frustrating. The fact that I had to go replay several minutes worth of gameplay just to, yeah, just to get there. And especially considering that I had to deal with that buggy shit show of a ladder. You know that, oh, fuck. Oh, come on, man. Okay, well, uh, so apparently this is also bugged. Because, yeah, if you get, if you fall off, really? Yeah, if you... If, if you fall off, you cannot jump back on the pipes, which I'm not personally a big fan of, especially considering how floaty this is. Okay, there we go. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna... Fuck you. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna fuck you, because they're weird bastard lizard people, but... There we go. Yeah, I, I just decided to run through there. Okay, so see, that's... Look, look now. Look, I went in there and I took damage, and then I... Like, I either got the health back, or it wasn't permanent. Why couldn't that have just been a thing? You know, why why make it stick around in the last area? Who, who votes a barrel of acid in a sewer? I don't know, assholes? 
I mean, then again, I don't, I'm not really a big fucking voter type, so, oh no, oh no, not another fucking ladder. Please, God, why? Okay, can I, maybe, ah, fuck me. <laughs> oh, dear God. Well, so at the very least, this one has a fucking back. So, like, this should, in theory, be easier. Of course, it's not going to be, but... Yeah, like, this This at least should be a little bit more straightforward. What in the fuck is going on here? Yeah, what? what is wrong with this? Come on, let's go. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, God, yeah, I mean, those are... That is, like... That is horrendous. You know, look, like, ladders are kind of difficult, but fuck it, I don't care. Like, you know what would be better? If we did the Half-Life Alex thing, and you went ahead, and you just had it so that when you, tur when you like, walk up to it and you press the button, look for the key, motherfucker. Um, so yeah, so that when you walk up and you press the button, it just teleports you to the top. I would literally rather have that than have this control scheme. <laughs> You're kidding. How far back is this going to set me? Oh, okay. Wait, what? I... Oh, hang on. Oh, shit, okay. I just realized something. When I reload... Oh, okay, that might explain why I'm bleeding through ammo so quickly. When I reload a partial magazine, it reloads all six shots. I'm not a fan of that. I mean, that didn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, that didn't really make a lot of sense when it was done in, uh, in Cry of Fear, and it doesn't really make a lot of sense now. Okay. Cool story, bro. Um. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of that, because that kind of feels not great. Like, what happened to the shells that we have? Do they just get dumped on the floor? Is our guy really, like, racking the entire the entire magazine just to... Well, I mean, I guess this is a mag-fed shotgun, and admittedly, just considering that I just picked up that other one, maybe it is. That would kind of make sense, but... I mean, that would just be immensely stupid of them. But, that, I mean, then again, that whole thing where people are like, oh, it's realistic to throw the magazine away. I'm always kind of want to cuff them upside the head and say, no, it's fucking not. Like, I, I've done some, um... Like, not, not a ton in my life, but I've actually done some, like, I, I guess you could call it, like, tactical training courses and such. And, honestly, the only time that I would ever be just throwing a magazine off to the side where that has rounds in it is if, like, I was in the middle of fucking... If I was basically in the middle of a gunfight. That's about it. If I have to, like, pop... If I have to pop out a magazine in my pistol or something or in my rifle to just, like, reload when I'm done, I'm totally pocketing the extra mag. Oh, hey, we're gonna go back to the best part here. Oh, let's see, how many tries is it gonna take? Uh, oh wow, only one. I'm actually surprised. Okay. Here, let's see what happens. Okay, so, I guess time for the key- oh, motherfucker. Okay, calm down. There we go. Let's- oh, are you- are you fucking me? Come on, game. <sighs> Uh, I, I kind of feel bad for you guys. Like, I, I, I really don't like hating on indie horror developers, especially people who have quite clearly put a not insignificant amount of effort into this game. But at the same time, man, oh man, like, there is some serious, serious problems here. Okay, so I got the key. Uh, yeah, like... I really want to support indie developers. Like, I'm happy to pay full price, especially if it's, like, a reasonable price for a game. But, God, I am... Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I, I, don't, I, I don't know that I can do it. I don't know that I can kind of keep, like, my worst impulses at bay for this one. I guess we'll have to go ahead and see. So let, let's go ahead and let's go climb up the ladder, and let's go kind of come out, let's see what's coming out next, because... I'm getting to a point where I'm probably going to need to wrap this up so I can get this edited and exported so there's at least one video. Um, oh, actually, on that topic, just while I have you guys here, so just so you guys are aware, for the next, I'm not sure how long, there's going to be a bit of a reduction in videos. 
I'm kind of working on a few things, working through a few things on my life, my life, and that it just means that I'm not gonna have the time. <clears throat> so yeah, it's uh, like I, I I'm having a pretty I, I guess fuck it I'll tell you guys a little bit about the story. I'm having a severe sleep issue, where I'm pretty consistently waking up from like one until four in the morning every single day, and that's really fucking with my ability to be productive at work. And that's also really fucking with my ability to, like, do well when I'm working out and such. Um, and it's also really messing with my ability to, like, create entertaining content. So, you know, it's, it's that and a few other issues that are going on. And I'm kind of just really wanting to get stuff fixed on my end. As well as, like, you know, maybe see if I can get lucky and find a house I like and all that. You know, go ahead and actually buy one, because my current living situation is kind of making me miserable, for lack of a better phrase. Uh, yeah, so anyway, just so you guys are aware, there is going to be a somewhat of a reduction. I'm still going to try my best to get at least one video out a day for you guys. But if you do experience a thing where there's two or three, there might even be a couple of days. Hello. I'm sorry, where is the shotgun? No, 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 game. Where is the shotgun? I keep on seeing the word shotgun. I want shotgun. What I don't want is to go get electrocuted to death, because I envision that will probably break the game. Um, but anyway, yeah, j just so you guys are aware, I, uh, I made a little announcement on Twitter about it. Just kind of let you guys, or let the people that follow me on there know. And if you guys don't have... Wow, okay, that's not safe at all. Um, yeah, if you guys, you know, don't follow me on Twitter, I'll put a little link up here on the screen for you. Or actually, what I'll do is I'll have a link down in the description, because putting it up on the screen doesn't really seem to matter. It's it, because you guys can't click on it. But yeah, if you guys uh, want, go ahead and follow me on there, and that's where I'll probably be posting announcements of stuff like that until I go ahead and I, you know, run out. Or until I, until I'm... Hi, level. I'm not supposed to be able to see you, am I? I kind of want to see if I can break this, but I also don't. Uh, what was I saying, though? I'm Because I'm getting fucking rambly because I'm so fucking tired. Yeah, I should not be able to see you, I think. Uh, da -da -da, something about Twitter. Oh, yeah, just I'm not quite at a point where I have a community tab on YouTube. You know, once I have a community tab on YouTube, I'll probably use that instead. But, yeah, for now, I, I'm kind of forced to use Twitter. Which I really don't want to do, because I'm not really a fan of Twitter. I think Twitter is more or less worthless, but still kind of forced to use it. So, I don't know, is what it is. Okay, see, that? That works really well. You know what, honestly? Like, if you... Hell, you know what would be a really easy fix for the problem of the ladders? Go ahead and just make an invisible wall behind them that you can climb up. I mean, really, that would be that would be the easiest solution. You could just go ahead, and you could just do that, and everything would be fine. I'm going to have to do some platforming, aren't I? And that's going to be excellent, I'm sure. Okay, so... There we go. And let me guess, now, of course, lizard people are going to come in and be like, Hey, what's going on, gang? Boy, you guys are remarkably synchronized. Kind of was hoping that I could go ahead and actually shoot one of them. I think I did just shoot a shell off. Alright, well, whatever. Fuck them. Let's see, is anything anything down here that I can grab? Any, like, secrets or something? Nope, that's a big old negative. Alright, well, that's disappointing. Is this now open? Oh, okay, no it's not. I was hearing noises and I was like, wait, is there something, like, banging on it? What's happening? Yeah, and uh, I, I still definitely think that this game kind of needs a little bit of a fix on its flashlight. Again, it's not that it's too powerful, it's that it's like almost too bright, so I don't know, maybe reduce its like, maybe reduce its intensity by a little bit? I don't know, just something about it makes it, yeah, it like, it washes things out really aggressively. I also really want to know what the story is here, because there's clearly supposed to be stuff there. So I think part of the level just didn't load, I don't know. But alright, so where's going to be some of these asshole lizard people that I can go cut in half with a shotgun? 
Because I'm not going to lie, like, blowing my way through all of these lizard people with, like, a shotgun is actually incredibly fucking satisfying. I mean, it, it, it's far more satisfying than I think most things have any right to be. Okay, I don't know why you're bubbling like that. That makes me nervous. Oh, God. Hang on. Can I... I, I can't actually swim. What? I, I fell through the floor. What? Okay. Am I actually going to die here? I am going to die. Oh, wait, what? No, I, I could... I, I just went up a little bit for some reason. Okay, I guess I ended up dead again. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, how far back am I going to be? Look for the entrance to the bunker. I'm all the way back here. Okay. You know what I think I'm going to go ahead and do? I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, I'm going to go get back to where I was. And then I'm also not going to try to climb that ladder. Because that apparently is just death and pain. And uh, yeah, the next time it looks like we're going to go through the bunker door. And try to find out what's happening over there. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I look forward to seeing you next time.